Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to your weekday weekend. I'm Adam, and uh, it's Saturday, I think, right? I, uh, yes, it's Saturday. Sorry, I work overnight at a casino, so I never know what day it is. Um, we are printing a cable organizer um, over there. So that'll be kind of fun. I already have one there behind it. You can kind of see by the filament roll. Um, I'm printing another one, though, because I'm going to need another one. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Taro the dog. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate you. It's funny, just as you say that, I've got two messages sitting in my um, in my PM inbox on Twitch from people going, Oh, your channel's fantastic. How often do you stream? Which is a dead giveaway. Because they're not followed. If they're asking how often I stream, they could also just scroll down and look at my recent VODs, which they would see multiple, and then know exactly how often I stream and on what platform and all that. So, um, yeah, they're not very good at um, not looking like fakes. And that's kind of the point, right? Everyone always asks... Why is it so obvious? They want to be obvious. Because if you're smart enough to realize it's a scam, they don't want you. They want the people that don't realize it's a scam. Because it, that the messages themselves are a filter to weed out the people that they don't want. Welcome back, Tarot the Dog. There we go. I think we're back. I don't know how much of that you caught. I was just talking about how I are, I have like two messages in my uh, my PMs um, from um, scammers. And it's so obvious because they're like, how often do you stream? What platform do you stream on? Do you stream on PC or Xbox or PlayStation? Did, you could scroll down and watch 15 seconds of a video of a VOD, or, you know, just look at how often the VODs are coming out and know exactly how much I stream and on PC or Xbox or whatever. Yeah, which is funny since it's, you know, below the stream. So they, you don't even have to scroll down. I've done this before. You don't even have to to scroll down. Like, my Discord's there. My, like, my website's here. Like, I'll throw my designs there perfect idea what's your perfect idea share with me your perfect idea next time a scammer asks your info yeah should give him the uh should give him the link to my anti-scammer video that's what i should do that'd be fun tell them all right you want me to scam bait them? Do scam baiting? I've never done scam baiting, and it usually attracts more scammers. Look at the... Right? Well, then they just get mad. It doesn't do anything. They'll be like, oh, well, I put my heart and soul into it, even though it's just AI generated. Um, they'll be like, oh, I put my heart and soul into this. What the hell? You're so mean. But that would be kind of funny. Okay, so here's the problem, right? Here's the problem. So this is our current job, right? Our current job is this. Here's the problem. Mathis is the one who stole the necklace, right? And because he stole the necklace, um, oh, did I not install that sync disk? I thought for sure I installed it before I saved. I guess not. Um, install, um, yeah, I thought for sure. I 
the hell? I think my game is bugged, guys. Yeah, I think my um I think my game is bugged. This sync disk will not install. Let's um let's uh exit. Let's just relaunch. Hopefully that'll fix it. I still have that problem. I look over there instead of over here. That's where my video is. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, Terrell. That's what I'm doing. We're relaunching here. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully it'll fix the problem. If not, then, um... I guess we'll live with it. We're really playing on this save for two more days. So on Monday, a new, um... A new DLC for this game comes out. I think it's free DLC. It, it doesn't say that it costs money, but I would totally pay money for it. Um, and we'll be playing the shit out of that, but I'll need to make a new save because... I, I say DLC. It's a new update, not DLC, really. Little bugs here and there. Exactly. You know, and it's it's still an early game, a beta. I don't think it's alpha. I don't know what, what version it is. I don't know if, if it's even considered early access, but it is still early days for this game. And they're making new content. They're still fixing stuff. So I am very happy to deal with bugs because the game is super fucking fun. So, uh, okay, here we go. Do I still have the sync disc? I do. I thought for sure I installed it before my before I saved, but apparently not. Let's get in. Install. Heavy lifter. Install. Install. No, it's bugged. Okay. Well... Should I maybe, um, drop replace it? And then take it back. Get in the bed. Install that heavy lifter. Install. No? Okay, well. Yeah, it's, um... Oh well, that sucks. I thought for sure I installed it and then uh, saved. That's really unfortunate. It's not that big of a deal though, because again, in two days... In two days I'll be abandoning this save anyway, basically, because it'll be an old version. So... It'll be okay. However, for now, we're going to go see if we can't get some damn money off of this sync disc and, um, this diamond in my inventory. Hello. Sync disc. Only 50 bucks for that. And 1600 for this diamond, so sure. Pistachio Prison Pawn Brokers. That's... That's fucked. Okay, we don't currently have a murder to work on. So, um... Mm -hmm. Interesting. The employee details... All right there for the uh, the lobby employees. So the same two apartments here. Where am I at for money? 17k. We're looking pretty good here. Um, public humiliation. Dove plus. Telling an acquisition. Huh? Rare Sync Disc Ambassador in 3300 bucks. 
Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, I need handcuffs. Operate handcuffs. Okay. Unknown citizen. Who we got? We got no fingerprint. We have their age. They have an interest in nature and their partner is an HR admin. Okay. Their salary is 1500 Their partner is an HR admin. Jeez, that's going to be a tricky one. Okay. Well, I guess it's, um... It's 2 o'clock here. I guess let's, uh... Go to Watanabe Center, as usual, here. Look at all the HR admins. Start from there. Let's see what we can do here. All right. Here we go. Oh fuck! Did did you just? There's a murder here. Um, see somebody suspicious. Glasses. Saw them today at Watanabe Center, second floor landing around 1215. Nothing to do with you. Liv Augustine. Well, we know Liv Augustine did it. Okay, well, is no one going to report this murder? Is no one going to report this murder? How do I report a murder? Um, we, we literally found a murder. Um. Nine, seven, seven, seven. Fuck. Um. How do I make a new a new case? Uh, new custom case. Murder. Uh, inspect. That's the victim. Search, analyze. Take prints. Sharp object. Oh. Lives in the building. Fuck, I'll take her money. I don't care. Oh, it already gave me a new murder case. Cool. Well, there's that. We know who did it. Liv Augustine. Now we just need, um... To know where Liv Augustine works. Um... And then... Um... 
not works, um, where they live, I'm sorry. And then go, uh, fucking arrest their ass. Nice and easy. Midnight management. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, that, yeah, I'm already one step ahead. They're not even going to have the whole thing, um... They're not even going to have the crime scene taken care of before I have this solved. Liv Augustine. Man, going through everybody's prints was a real godsend. All right. Um, five hundred two Bishop Grove. Five oh where? Five oh three Bishop Grove. All right. Fifth floor, let's go. Hopefully their partner isn't home, because I would love to um, look around and find that murder weapon. What was the weapon again? Entry wound, sharp object, or blade? Come on. It said somebody was home. Come on. Hello, Liv Augustine. Um, that's cool. Handcuffs. Um, I'll pay for this, so I'm sure. There's the fabric scissors, and then, um, I don't know why I'm picking this. I could just bust it open, but all right, cool. Sweet. We solved it. Oh yeah, pursue me, bitch. Pursue me. I fucking dare ya. Alright, uh, F. Resolve. Full name of the killer, Liv Augustine. Arrest her, I did. Do you have evidence? 
places them in the crime I do. Where they live. There. Murder weapon. Uh, fabric sister, scissors inspect. There. Murder weapon. Fabric scissors. I did arrest them. Well, I'll plot her out. And it in. Our fingerprint was in the scene. There we go. Five out of five. Oh, that wasn't the murder weapon. That sucks. Huh. All right. Well. Two fifty social credit. I'm almost at eight. Hell yeah. Okay, now back where we were here. Um, we're looking for HR admins with a partner that makes 50, 1500 bucks and loves nature. We're gonna go around back and do this right. We caught that one before the fucking cops got there. That was very nice. All right. Oh, yeah. This is a weird one. HR administrator. Okay. Who is that? Eli Payne? Okay. And then... Next. Watching your stream and it freezes and I lose like two minutes. That's not good. Motherfucker, the... Let's try this again. I have been fiddling around with my network and my modem and contacting my ISP for like the past hour, however long I've been offline. And I got to tell you, it's been awful. Most of you already know this, but if you don't, Comcast sucks. I will go on the record right now, and I'll go on the record if I ever take off and get popular. Comcast fucking sucks. I want AT&T Fiber, not that their customer service is any better, but because it's half price for the same speed um, up and down. It's, it's just awful. No one else offers anything even close to Comcast in this area as far as a product. But Comcast's reliability is just awful. And their their customer service is almost as bad. I am... AT&T Fibers, uh, like, HQ in this area is about a mile away from me. Less than that. Probably, 
I could probably, if I got some good tries in, I could probably throw a baseball to the roof of their building from the roof of mine. Like, it's like three blocks. Like, if that. And I, I don't get fiber. Why? Your HQ's right there. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. But here we are. 3D printer's still going. It's a little warbly and shaky over there. I need to mount the camera differently, but I don't have a method for that right now. Um, so, yeah. So let's try to play some more games. Let's, let's try to play some more Shadows of Doubt. Hopefully it'll work. It's a cool looking cafe here. I don't think I've ever had one as cool and pretty as this one. It's real nice. All right. Yeah, that's a different murder. So I can't even go in there. Can I go in here? I can. I need uh, a lot of business related murders recently. Need um, HR admin, inspect. Uh, okay. Okay. Use... And print. Take that. Goes there. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go up another floor. We're gonna find this HR admin. There they are. Maria Juarez. Okay. Um. Take that. Okay. Okay. Um, no employee board here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Fernanda. Okay. Um, okay. Um, the person I'm looking for again, they're 35. They like nature and their partner's job as an HR administrator. Okay. So... Unfortunately, I'm still, like... Okay. 
Receptionist, no. Company director, no. Accountant, no. Lehman Long. Technician, no. K. K. L. M. N. Marketing executive, no. Wiggins. Office manager, no. The men we've already done. Oh. Uh, HR admin, there we go. That's what we're looking for. All right, thank you. Um, I don't even know what floor we're on now. Oh, is this another one without? Ugh. All right. Sophia Williams. Accountant, no. Tara Colombo. Marketing, no. Mara Kane. Technician, no. B. 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 E. Grace and May. HR admin, thank God. Okay, and that's all that I can get for now. So, that's gonna have to work. Um, let's go to the City Hall. And look up all these people's addresses and look for their partners. Partner does make a salary, so that's good. We know they're not um, unemployed. Um, so that's helpful. Okay. Um, hello, human. Right, um, government database. E. Payne. We need A. Smallwood. We need M. Juarez. We need F. Acosta. We need A. Nyan. We need Grace Hofer. Okay. Let's go. Uh, Payne. Okay. 
Okay. Small wood. Cool. Uh, Juarez. We need Maria. Any day now, guys. About to think the printer's out of paper. Okay. Uh, Acosta. All right. Cool. Let's start with you. 501 Brinson Projects. I don't even know if I've ever been in... I mean, I must have, right? But, like... I, maybe just the one time. I feel like I've never really been in there. Hmm. Okay, 501. We're gonna find you, and we're gonna get you for your, um... For your lover. All right. Literally just 501. That's it. Okay, cool. We almost have to cross-reference back and have them be like, Oh yeah, that's my partner. They like nature. Okay, well, that's them, at least. Okay. Um. Please. It's stupid how they're all like, oh, I'm not giving you nothing. Fuck investigation. People can die all the damn time. Like, I know it's their right to say no. But, like, you're fucking stupid. Okay, is there anyone else in the Brinson Projects? Haley Projects? No. Bishop Grove? No. Watanabe Center? No. Haley Projects, no. Autonomy Center. Okay. Get more info about, um... Okay. No one there? Okay, well. 
Um, we need Haley projects now. Or Watanabe Center. Might as well do Watanabe Center because... Right here. Alright. Who was in Watanabe Center? No, you're in Haley Projects. You? Bishop Grove. No. You. Watanabe Center. 404. And then we also need... 1302. 404 and 1302. <clears throat> Not 404. 403. 404. Yeah, 404. Let's hope it's the partner again. Hmm, this is, um... Talk to. Thank you. I might as well get those. Please. That's what I thought. Okay. Fuck is your. There we go. Um, CP Fernanda's your birth. Fernanda, nineteen forty three. Cameron Peterson. Is their partner? Thank you. Uh... Loves music. No, so there's not these guys, okay. Cameron Peterson, that's a no. Um, can I write? Uh, toggle cross out. Okay. Anderson's right now, cool. Uh, who else was on 1302, right? Hello, what are you 3D printing? I am 3D printing a cable organizer. Uh, oh, wrong one. There we go. It's a cable organizer. Um, there. That's the model I'm printing. If you're interested. Um, sorry about the wobbling camera. I am trying to work that out. I need a different solution for mounting my camera. But, um... Yeah. Uh, welcome, welcome to the to the uh, chat, Kiki Minerva. Welcome, 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 welcome. 
Actually, I think my print's about done. Uh, any minute now, it'll be done. I need to print another one a different color. Can you design stuff and make it print unique tools? Uh, yes. So a lot of the stuff we find is um, just online, but I do have some basic CAD skills. Um, watch the game, but I'm now distracted. Yeah, I have some basic CAD skills, but yes, you can design your own things um, just with CAD software. Um, like um, Fusion 360 is a popular one on Shape. Um, SolidWorks. I usually use a Libre because it's way cheaper. Um, hello. Um, do you know? So, wait, you definitely live. Here, so you are definitely a partner there. Okay. Okay, well, fuck you. Um. Oh, and there it is. It's done. Uh, it has finished. Cool. I'm not going to pull it off quite yet, because I like to quick put cables in it. Okay, I can probably pull it off. One second. I try to wait for it to cool down a little bit. It makes it easier to pull it off the bed, but I think we'll be alright. Okay, you'll have to deal with me as the microphone is over here by my computer. And I'm going to be over by my printer. So, I will try to escalate my voice, but we'll see how it goes. Alright. This over here on the side is the purge for the nozzle and then just lift that up a little bit Ooh, there's something got fluff in the fan there and just lift this this whole thing is magnetic this part is small enough that um, usually i don't have to pull it all the way off there you go ow hot hot uh oh That's yeah, totally just that. I don't know. Oopsie. I think it'll survive. Uh, try to get it on there nice and neat. If I can without burning myself. All right. what it is um let me see if i have like a spare cable to use i might not even have something spare oh hang on i do it is and the bed is very hot all right so i think it's definitely more so designed um to be slid through but I tend to um just put them on in two separate parts so what you do is you wind it through put the top on well Feed it through the bit in the top. And then click it down and then you spin. So that's this model. It's pretty cool. Uh, looks like I needed a bigger... Um, oh well, no, it's just a little tight. So I might have needed a bigger, um, yeah, a bigger thing. This one's too small. Uh -huh. But that's okay, because I wasn't planning on using it with this cable. So, it is brilliant. But, um, yeah, they're really useful for putting in your backpack. And what you'd want to do is you would want to color code them. 
Right, so I've got a micro USB that's already blue in my backpack that this is going to go to. Um, so blue is for micros. Um, and then I'm going to do probably... Probably red. Um, for type C, I think. Probably red. So, yeah, OCD is loving this, right? Um, yeah, it's a fantastic idea. Um, so what I'm about to do is pull the um, filament off. Um, I need to preheat it again just because it needs to be hot when I preheat. Um, So let's see, are we warm enough? By the time I get the other filaments out, we will be. All right, let's see here. So this is gonna be the new color. Uh, I used to have to do it manually, but now, I just have settings on my printer that'll do it for me. So you can see up here it's spinning, maybe. Yeah, you can. Okay. The looks like the camera's a little. Can you make your own Warhammer figures? You sure can. In fact, people have done that. Make miniatures like miniature piggy banks that are hollow in the middle. You sure could. Um, there's a lot. I suggest you look on printables.com. A lot of stuff on there um, is open source. Um, and then there's a lot of places online that will print models for you. So this here... Um, I'm, again, the camera is a couple seconds behind because this one isn't actually plugged into my PC. It's a network camera. Um, but this spindle that my, um, filament is on, so it comes here on the, on the spool, but this plastic piece that it's rolling on is actually my own design. Um, so I just lock them in here on my shelf. Some of them need some more coercion because I haven't deburred them yet. You take the filament, oh, take the filament, and you take some side cutters, and you just snip off the end at a really harsh angle, because it makes it easier to feed. And I like to straighten out the end a little bit as well. It goes into a little hole right there. And I like to manually feed it because it's faster than the printer doing it itself. And then I go into the settings and I disable the stepper motors. And I purge out the blue. Which will give me purple for a second because I put in red. And there we go. Please make yourself a little thimble. That'd be fun. Um, that'd be quite fun, actually. So yeah, um, normally I don't like to uh, self-promo all that much. 
but um, since you're asking about it, real quick, I'll show you. Um, so actually, real fast, one second. Actually, we're gonna. Start that print. Right, so that's started now. Um, I don't like to self promo, but we will fill my printables page real fast. Well, that's heating up. I'm just printing the same design again because I need more of them. So here is my printables page. I'll tab over to it. Uh, here, oh, that's the game. No, you're good. You're good. Um, let's um, do display capture and turn off that. There we go. So this is my printables page. Um, I'll turn that off for just a second since it's not going. Oopsie. Yeah, that's what I want. Um, yeah. So here's a simple planter and drip tray that I printed that I have printed. Here's a photo of it. Um. It's got uh, one download. Here's the filament spool holder that I was showing. Um, here we go. It's starting to go there. Show the printer. Um, oh, I have this monitor up here. You guys can't really you can't really see it, but um, it's a monitor stand. It's kind of flimsy. The design I've uploaded on here is updated, but I didn't print a new one for myself because eh, it works. Um, this is one of my favorites. It's super simple, but I noticed that my my record albums are bulging out like that, you know, and looking really ugly. So I just printed um, something like that. Uh, actually, no, I have no engineering background whatsoever. Um, but CAD is actually really easy to get into. So I um, I decided to, to go for it. Um, I have a couple more models that I haven't actually uploaded publicly. Let's see if there's anything that's worth sharing here. Uh, I use my Steam, my Stream Deck here because it's faster. Uh, my own stuff. I have some calibration things for my printer. Can you see the planter drip tray up close? I'd have to go grab it from the other room. Um, and it's got a plant in it. Um, trying to make a case for my calipers, but for now the one that's included is fine. Um, my, one of my favorites is a dog tag that's customizable if you have basic CAD skills. Um, I'm trying to design a stand for my PlayStation 3, because we're going to get PlayStation 3 stuff on the channel here. I have one of the old fat PlayStation 3s. Um... What's CAD? Computer, uh, computer aided design, I think is what it stands for. Right? Computer aided design? Hang on. Uh, computer aided design, yes. Um, so for example, okay, here we're going to do an actual plug, okay? We're going to do an actual plug here real fast, right? Um, so November 4th, Kiki, I don't know if you've ever heard of extra life but november 4th is extra life game day and i have designed a plaque it's my first extra life game day on this channel i did come from a different channel um i designed a plaque for people uh the the top donator um this year so i'll 3d print this and what's going to happen is whoever is the top donator i'll print this with their name on it and it's going to forever go on like my shelf of interesting items back there and you'll be forever known as the person who donated the most to the kids um, for 2023. Um, yeah, but this is CAD software. You have your own BPs. What? BPs. What is, what is uh, BPs? Uh, blueprints. Oh, if you're playing, yes, 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 yes. Got it. It's been a while since I played Rust. 
People on Rust get way too competitive for me. I just like to build and have fun, go out and hunt some animals and stuff. People on Rust get way too competitive for me in public servers. I don't mind um, private servers, but competitive servers, mm. Color, let's find like that bronze. I have a, like a bronze color. That, um, let's find something that's not quite as poop brown. Selectivity. It's kind of a bronze. There we go. Like building shacks uh, that you then cannot find. That is definitely rust. That's for sure. Um, yeah, but this is what we call parametric CAD. So, um, basically, everything started... Here, let me move it back so you can see. Everything started with um, this. Everything started not even with this box, but this... Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but this kind of rectangle right here um, that I'm kind of wiggling my mouse around. And then I told it to extrude that rectangle up by... Uh, how much? 120 millimeters, so 12 centimeters. So, well, I don't know that taller, so I might make the whole thing bigger even. Um, and then, I drew a sketch on the side here, as you can see. Uh, right there. Instructions and code. Oh, f like the, the printer follows? It's technically code. But you can modify. They're kind of pretty easy to understand. Um, so then this I had it cut out. And then finally that I had it cut out. And then finally I did the text, which is what takes all the processing power in the world. And then finally I did the fillets, which are like the rounded edges that make it look pretty. Um, I might make the whole thing bigger. Um, but for now, this is going to be how big it is. I might make the whole thing bigger. Um, it has to fit within my, um, printer specs. So, like, I could do, like, what if I made it, like, 180 by 60? And then I refresh. It's going to look a little weird because, yeah. So I can make the this extrusion much taller as well. Let's say 200. And then I'll refresh it. It's still going to look a little weird because the text is still told to be the same size. Yep. And then I would need to take this guy, edit him, make that more like uh, 100 and... What did I make it tall? 170? Refresh. Okay. Uh, I don't like that, actually. Hang on, let's make that um, 155. And then refresh it. Okay. And then... From there, I would make the text bigger and things. And I'll probably work on... Could you put an image on it, possibly? Technically, you could... But it would be very hard to make. Basically, you have two colors if you do an image. Now, there's ways to do what's called the hue forward with switching out filament colors and all that. And it's a lot of work. But um, you can make what's called a lithophane. So a lithophane is um, basically you make it thin enough so that you basically have uh, three colors. You have black, gray, and white. Or f whatever color filament, I guess that you use. So you have full color, half color, and no color. And then what happens is when you shine it up to the light, you then get, um, you then get the, um, the image. You see it through the light. Like layers of colors, kind of, yeah. Um, So it's very, um, it's very cool. Um, I think we're going to make it not quite as wide. Um, what if I made it a hundred and sixty? Um, and 
then I would potentially... Oh, oopsie. Wrong one. Take this top one and do like 30. More center it a little bit. So everything's a layer of sketches and extrusions, basically. Um, it's very fun to get into. And I uh, highly recommend. So, uh, yeah. Um, I have a fairly basic printer. I've actually had a lot of problems with it recently with leveling and things. And I really wish I just had the money for, like, a Bamboo Lab P1P. They're, after all said and done, they're about 600 bucks. I just don't have the money for that right now. But, yeah, this is what I'm planning to do for charity if you have a top donation. Um, not to plug, but, Kiki, if you like what you see here, then uh, come November 4th, as long as I get the day off. Otherwise, we'll move it around a day or two. Uh, but as long as you like what you see here... We'll be doing a charity live stream that day for most of the day, playing video games, doing stupid stuff for money. Um, and um, so I really encourage you to come back on that day to uh, make some kids' lives a little bit better. Um, is our printer going? Yeah, I don't have a lithophane right now to show you, but... Um, oh, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Um, really, really, really appreciate it. Okay, let's get back over to the game. Uh, boink, boink. Um, really, really, really thank you for following. Thank you. It really means a lot, especially on my journey to affiliate. I am, you're number 43. Uh, affiliate is at 50, although you do need to, um, you need to have a couple other things as well. So... Um, like constant viewers and things, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, I would rather have followers that would enjoy being here and watching rather than a whole bunch of numbers that don't matter. So, really appreciate you being here. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself as well. At least you seem to be. Um, generally, I try to 3D print when I stream. So... Uh, not all the time. Sometimes I don't have anything that I'm wanting to print. But I really like this model and it would be useful to have these around the house. I also want to print like some chip clips and things like that. Or like a toothpaste um, squeezer thing to get all the toothpaste out of the, the tube. That makes sense. Seems like stupid stuff, right? But if it costs me a couple pennies to make it. Thank you for answering all your 3D, uh, 3D printing questions. Of course, of course. It's kind of a niche thing right now, right? But um, most of us in the 3D printing community are really hoping it takes off um, stronger because if you cut out the middleman in the manufacturing, then things become cheaper. If you can make your own things and make them to the whatever specification you want, then suddenly everything becomes cheaper. You make silly tools and contraptions all the time. It'd be, it might be really worth you learning then. Um... I highly suggest, I'm not sponsored, obviously, but I highly suggest, um, Teaching Tech on YouTube, just like that. Um, he has a series of tutorials and a uh, free CAD software called Onshape. It's not for commercial use, but that's what I learned on. And then I was able to take that skills into a Libre, which is technically not a mainstream software, but it's very, very well done and well made. Um... And most professional CAD software costs like thousands and thousands. Um, but a Libre cost me like 200 bucks one time fee rather than monthly like everyone else. So it would definitely be learning how to use CAD because you could totally use CAD and learn it without having a 3D printer. Um, and then what you do is you just put untested on your... Um, on the page, right? Partner loves music, yeah. But I need you. Um... So you're the partner. You're the target.
Um, I need to talk to them, basically. Um, I come in and look around. Cool. Sweet. Is your partner here? Hello? Damn. Well, you are the target. Um, all at our purse laying around. Yes. Take some pins. Um, anyway, sorry. Um, Kiki, the, um, uh, are you excited for the Monday update? I really am. I was about to say that. Hotel, oh my god, it's going to be so good. I am so excited for it. It's going to be lots of fun. Um, I can't wait. You are a potential target, but I need... Five oh three Bishop Grove, no. Anyone across the hall? Thank you. Um Teaching Tech, by the way, has a tutorial series playlist called uh Learning CAD for 3D printing. That's what I was trying to say. Um but anyway, yeah, back to the topic. Yes, the hotel is gonna be fantastic. Um, and I can't wait. That was music, damn it. Okay. So you are not it. Check out Teaching Tech. Yeah, they're really good. Um, but yes, the update, I cannot wait. It's going to be so good. And um, this save has already had some small bugs. So I am excited to... Um, I have no problem starting a new save, although it is fun. Wait. Oh, I'm... Fuck. You guys are at Haley Projects. Motherfucker. Alright. Yes, it'll be really, really cool. I'm excited to see how it gets implemented. My only thing that I don't quite understand, because they haven't explained it, is... Why a hotel is needed when no one ever really leaves each city. There doesn't seem to be a way to leave the city you're in. Um, I would assume by boat or something like that, but there doesn't seem to be any transportation like that around the city. So my question then becomes, why do you need a hotel? So I would like for them to, even if you can't access it, I would like for them to basically have like a boat dock. Um, where people come and go. Not that they would ever, ever like, actually come and go, because then your job would be impossible to find who you're looking for. But, because otherwise, why do you need a hotel? You know? It's not like the unemployed can, can afford a hotel room. You know? 602 and 703. Uh, maybe different guests start to color us. Oh! Oh, that's a good idea. Search cola represented. That would be fucked if someone's like, oh yeah, I think my husband's cheating. And it's like the starch cola president or whatever. That would be nuts. I would like to see that. That'd be fun. 703. Okay, we're hoping for you, Alana Smallwood. We're hoping for you. No, you're the partner. Damn it. Right? No, oopsie. We're hoping for you. But we didn't get you. 
um, talk to. Do you know them? That's my partner, Io Neon. Neon, eh? Neon? They work at Hornet and Partners, yeah. They live with me. So you saw them here. Cool. Damn. You are the potential target. Apparently I have a key for 704 Haley projects. There's no one on this floor home. That's a no. Fuck. Okay. I was hoping... Um... That someone would be home so I could be like, oh yeah, who's this person? They would say, oh yeah, I know them. That's my... That's my neighbor and they really like music. 602 Haley Projects. Fuck. Um. Okay, I need 602. Oh, I have the key. I was wondering why it looked like I had the key. I'm looking for... Alana Smallwood. But... 603. 10.02. 13.01. 9.02. 9.02. 02. 701, 701, 703, 703, 704, 704, 103, 103, 503, 503, no, so that is not Obviously, that is not all of the um, people, but I was hoping for details on our potential target at 602. But... We basically need to talk to each of these people. To see if their partner likes nature. Have you solved any murder cases? Yes. Yes, I've solved several of them. Um, they've been getting easier because one of them basically required me to go off of one fingerprint. So I went to every single like mailbox and got as many fingerprints as I could have. Um, and went to every single person who was asking for fingerprints. So I have a lot of fingerprints on record. I went to, like, every single employer and grabbed fingerprint records and things like that. So, a lot of times it's been easy as find the fingerprint that doesn't line up. And that's the person, usually, it'll say their first and last name, because I've already seen them, their fingerprint. And then I know that's the person that that's guilty. So. 9th floor landing, Watanabe Center. Uh, ninth floor. Come on. Uh, that is smart. Yes. Um, I didn't do it because I wanted to cheat the game. I did it because I had no other option. Um, until they murdered some more people. Um, Hernet and Partners. Damn it. All right, well. Like, I'm a little, 
They're obviously not there, right? So where is... Um... Alana Smallwood? Hmm? Or... Ao Nian? Or any of these people? I spent over 60 hours just robbing people? Oh no. I mean, the tutorial is pretty good, in my opinion, actually. It's basically the regular game, but extra tooltips kind of walks you through just how a murder is supposed to go. My favorite part is that the tutorial itself is still procedurally generated. Like, the rest of the city is living and breathing, so is the tutorial. The tutorial has a couple, like, things that has to happen, like a murder has to happen. And things like that, and the cops don't show up until after you're already there. But other than that, everything else is still procedural. It's really cool. Um, all right, Gallagher Parade. Let's do um, some noodles. No, 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 no. It's basically the, the game. The tutorial is basically the game. Um, the only thing that isn't is that, like, you do have a couple of, um, tasks that aren't typical. Like, um, it has you look around your own apartment to learn about yourself. But, to me, that's a really good way of teaching people how to look around an apartment. Um, you learn, like, you're actually, like, divorced and your wife left you. Um... So, all right. We need to basically wait. Well, that sucks, right? Hi, Revan Master. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate you being here, as always. Let's go to Bishop Grove. Oop. Let's go home and rest overnight. This one I'm going to have to close because it's bugged because the husband took it. This one... I don't even fucking remember what's going on here. What's going on? So... From a person that I don't know... We literally have sample handwriting and fingerprint KK. That's funny. Right, yeah. And I've been looking into... Okay. Yeah, this probably isn't going to happen, but we'll see. If Or if you killed her, solve other murders, point to figure away from me, that'd be fucked. That would be... Crazy. I feel like you would know if you're a murderer, though. Especially since you're incapable of using a firearm in this game, which kind of sucks because... I bought one thinking, oh man, I'll be able to fend off when someone tries to shoot me. No, you just use it as a bludgeoning tool. Like, what the hell? Everyone else gets to shoot me, but I can only use it to whack people. So. But that would be fucked up, Kiki. That would be, that would be real messed up. Oh, I never locked my door behind me. Alright. Kiki, this is my apartment. 403 Bishop Grove. There's not much. It came furnished. I got lucky. I got lucky and, and uh, the last person left their furniture. So, um, it was quite nice. Oh, man. It didn't save the position of my light switch. That's annoying. That's another problem that I had with this save. Um... All right, let's um, get in bed here, uh, sleep until it's 
do the middle of the night, actually. That's actually what I want. Because I want to come back to those places in the middle of the night when they're probably asleep. And then walk in and talk to them. So, losing all my buffs here. Kiki, there's the printer going still. Ooh, that, it's definitely some lag there with that camera. Ooh. I don't know what's going on with that camera feed. Sorry about that. I really need to um do a USB extension for that. And just plug it right into my plug it into my computer rather than the Raspberry Pi. I need to use a Raspberry Pi for something else, honestly. Cause like I end up just having problems with it trying to use it for the 3D printer. It would lead to Among Us style gameplay, that's funny. It's like a pog that you use to flip the other pogs. That's true. It does. Um, okay, where am I going? I am going to see if... This person answers the door at 6OT Haley Projects. I need the person I have on record to answer the door because their partner is the target. Right? Unknown citizen. Their partner is 35 and loves nature. Their partner is an HR admin. So I went and find all the HR admins. So I have to hope that the person I have is there so I can ask them about their partner. As long as they love nature, I just need to figure out how old they are. And then hopefully that's enough. Haley Projects, let's go. Everybody, let's go. Ooh. One hell of a lightning strike. Okay, sixth floor. Where are you? What's up, short stuff? All right, sixth floor. <laughs> Hoping that they answer the door. White hair. Hey, they did answer the door. Cool. Talk to. Do you know? Oh, shit. I don't have their partner. Can I come in and look around? Sure. Thanks. Appreciate it. Um, your partner not home? What the fuck? Jesus. Freak me out. That's Alana's. Hammer at your bedside. That's... Safe. I lost some money. About the business card? 
Uh, I think that would be Alana's, but I'll double check real fast. I'm looking for the passcode. Yeah, it's Alana's. I need the partner. Hmm. Oh. Deshauna is probably the partner. And they're bar staff, which means they probably don't make a whole lot of money. Which is a good thing, because that's what I'm looking for, is the partner is also 15k. Is there... Um... Their salary. So... Work ID. Hmm. Interesting. But I don't have a passcode. Let's go to this work rotation. Oh, Deshauna, I don't have their workplace, though. So they're all I know is their bar staff. Um, let's figure out where Deshauna works. No. No. Deshauna. Gallagher Parade. Okay. Nice. Okay, so here's what I do. I gotta rush to Gallagher Parade. And then come back. Because I need to ask them to get the interest, right? I don't think there's any way to get their interest without talking to somebody that knows them and having them be like, Oh, yeah, they love music. They love nature. They love fucking me in the butt. I think you gotta talk to their partner. So basically, I need to be able to get their actual... I probably could have, actually. I want the photo. Everyone has interests. Yeah, yeah, but I need to get their actual listed interests, you know? I don't know how to get it without talking to their, their partner or their, their... You know what I mean? The person they live with. Is this Gallagher Parade? Motherfucker. Oh, are you Deshauna? You are Deshauna. I know you. I've dealt with you before. 602 Haley Projects. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Deshauna. I've come across Deshauna multiple times. Alright, well. Let's go back to Haley Projects. Fucking benches. Let's go back to Haley Projects and talk to their partner. Hopefully they're still here. I could have just grabbed their info from the, um, the paperwork, their work paperwork. But, um, I'm dumb. Could have just grabbed that and... Hey, you still home? Hello? Hello? Do you know Deshauna? That's my partner, Deshauna McCarthy. They work at Gallagher Parade, yep. Tell me their interests. They live with me. I saw them somewhere around Haley Projects. I need their interest. Fuck. Tell me, like, oh yeah, they love music or nature. Fuck. It doesn't help me. 24-8 will actually know that rules out Deshauna, right? Because, um, the mystery person salary is 15. So that rules out Deshauna. Toggle cross out. Okay, so we know it's not that. Okay. 
Who else is in Hanley Projects? You? 703. Okay. I need to talk to 703. Hopefully it's AO whatever. AO bro what's up? Whatever their name is. And um, we can talk to them about Kendrick. Hopefully they will have some info on Kendrick. It is Kendrick. Damn it. Is this a side job? It is. I don't have any active murders right now. Please, can I, can I look around? Please, can I look around? Please. Thank you. Um, I need info about you, Kendrick. Kendrick, where do you work? Actually, I got it. Uh, where's your, like, closet? This is a weird layout. Where's your, um, bin or whatever, your files? A lot of weapons laying around the house, too, guys. Doesn't look that great. Gotta be honest. Doesn't look that good at all. Yeah, you're pretty. Shopping list, okay, don't care. Kendrick's wallet. It's got one singular dollar. I where the hell is their like file cabinet? Two nine four nine. That's cool. Oh, duh. Rocking right past it. Okay, inspect. And Kendrick. Zero. Are they unemployed? Kendrick must be unemployed. I guess. Inspect. AO is Hornet and Partners, that's fine. Um, walk around in the dark, dumbass. The f why are you walking around in the goddamn dark? The hell is wrong with you? A heat pack. Right. Looking for one more note. Hopefully the work rotation say confirming that Kendrick is unemployed. It says employer and they're making zero, but it doesn't really say like Hmm. Okay. Well, They're really adamant about keeping their lights off, huh? Alright, well, I'm guessing Kendrick is unemployed. We'll go to the government database real fast. Um. But then we also need to go to Rinsome Projects. And if we pass the government database on the way, then we'll go check it. Got Kendrick and see if he's unemployed. We have all the partners. Why don't I just look up the partners? I'm an idiot. Because I can find out who to look at by their salary. Um. 
Ähm Who's making 15k? Janitor, laundry worker, nurse, or receptionist? Janitor, laundry worker, nurse, or receptionist? For 15 flat? Okay. How the fuck did I get here? Wait, what the fuck? The actual fuck? How did I get here? Did I just have a stroke? Oh, I fell through the floor. Oh, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, am I having a stroke? Fucking park benches. We're in some projects. All right. Fifth floor. Thanks, Revan. Because I was really freaking out, like, what the hell happened here? Um... Hang on. I'm dumb. I'm just gonna look up all the people and go by their salary and then go from there. Um... Look up the people that I suspect. All my suspects. Okay, use. Okay, my suspects. I guess I don't have this person's name. Hendrick Addison. And Gracie Mertens. Okay. Gracie Mertens, what is your job title? Supervisor. Well, it's not you then. Okay. Addison. Um, unemployed. Well, it's not you either. Okay. Uh, toggle cross out. And toggle cross out. So we have you. It might not be you, but you're all we have. So we still have to go back to 501 Brinston Projects, damn it. And... Because technically there are more that I could not check because of active crime scenes. I could not investigate the HR administrators of a couple couple businesses. So I could not, in fact, get every single business's HR administrator. And even so, there's still a couple around that um I still don't have access to, so. Hello! I'm hoping for you, Eli Payne. I got a key. Ugh. <sighs>
No, damn it. Can I come in and look around? Can I... Can I come in and look around? Thank you. Like, this job is worth so much money that I can, in fact, like... Miriam O'Neill. Thank you. This is a weird fucking layout. Okay. And fucking roaches on the fifth floor. Eli Payne's work ID. Is this Miriam O'Neill's work ID? You. St. Clinic Elgen representative. I don't know what that means, but I think it means you make more money than what I need. Yeah. 93. Yeah, okay. So it's not you. Okay, well. That's not great. Okay, so we're back to kind of square, square one. Not really, but kind of. We're looking for a couple more HR admins, I guess. Or a murder. I don't know how much longer I'm going to stream, but, um... All down to the right side. Okay. Cool. Yes! Yeah, just click and drag. Um, more HR admins, more HR admins, more HR admins, more HR admins. Okay. Um, you. Juarez Project Corp. Yeah. It is too early in the morning I need like 10 a.m. 9.30 alright let's pass the time let's grab us a drink and let's toss that shit and let's, uh, pass the time. See what we can do here. Oh, fuck. Okay, we got a murder. 1502 where? Hang on. Watanabe Center? Wasn't 1502 Watanabe Center? Hang, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. 404 Watanabe Center. 1302 Watanabe Center, okay. I'm pretty sure I have talked to somebody at, 13, at 1502 Watanabe Center, though. Okay, well, okay, let's see if we can start a murder real fast. Put our arrest case on hold. Hopefully they aren't wanted for anything crazy. Like murder. <laughs> um, super hungry, apparently. But we'll have to make, make do without... Fifteenth floor. CSI time. Let's go. Chances are it'll be locked down. 
I was pretty fast, but I actually tend to prefer to wait for the cops to be done so I don't have to try to run from them. Yeah. 15th floor. Hmm. Okay, well let's go down some floors and see if we can't find a surveillance room. No surveillance. Uh, no surveillance. 15th floor, probably relatively recently, maybe. Not necessarily. No, I think it's on like the 7th. No, right here. Is there a... There is an officer coming down the steps. I will wait for you. Evening. Let's check surveillance here. Fifteenth floor. Fifteenth floor. Let's see. Anybody. What is... Hang on. What is today? 6.53. On... Wednesday. So that is a potential suspect. That's the only person that's been in the area. 11th. Did it say 11th? That's kind of funny. Yeah, if that's the only person that's been around, I guess technically they are too, because it doesn't... You're not, um... It's, there's no murder case until the body is found. So, someone found the body. Okay. So that is... Those are our first suspects. Not guaranteed that they did anything wrong. But... Suspects, nonetheless. Fourteen, one more. Uh, four. Type LT. LU. 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 Okay, so LT is potentially... Our murder. And June McKenzie. Okay. So let's see here. Who do we have? Connections. Unknown citizen. And you. Unknown citizen. Here, I'm trying to break the damn door down. That's kind of funny. Hello, anybody? Ah, fuck! That scared the fuck out of me. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Fuck, I was not expecting the door to just burst open like that. Damn. Hello. Um. Can I help you? So sketch. Well, it's just them, um. Doing the crime scene deal. We gotta wait for, um. Oh, it's just coffee for five bucks. 
Jeez. Okay, so we have June McKenzie as a potential. Whoever that is. Hang on, let's let's be smart. We have June McKenzie. And we have Bring about J D. L T and there was an L U somewhere. Ah, fuck! Don't push me in here. Jesus. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. I think I did something wrong. JD 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 might be that officer LT JD I thought there was an LU Um Trigger print LU is that Luna Po JU They're still in there, like, looking around and shit. Fuck's the body at? Hello? Okay, so LU is possibly our murderer. Unless it's... them. L.U. is the person that was killed. Okay. Interesting. Um, no, I need to know... What was the time of death? One in the more Interesting. So that person that I see here on the footage... Here, this guy at two in the morning or whatever is probably it actually um interesting um can you don't need it Ginger Company. Company Director. Okay. Well. That will be all I need then, I do believe. A study, damn. Calligraphy set. Fucking nothing here. Put a pin in it is definitely a business term. 
So it's probably most definitely someone they work with. Their company director, and I don't have their pin. So we're going to just... <laughs> um, hey. Uh, what's up? I just walked out right in front of him and he didn't fucking care. Oh, uh, hey, what's up? How you doing? Alright, we're gonna try to tie this one shut. Ask around. See who the guy is that I saw. Um... Do I still have handcuffs on me? I don't, so I still need to grab some anyway. And I also need unknown citizen to, for someone to tell me who it is. The next time I pass somebody on the street, I'm going to have them tell me who the fuck this unknown citizen is. Like you, hello, sir. Do you know, um, him? So them somewhere around Watanabe Center. Yeah, that's probably because they slaughtered somebody over there. Thank you. Case resolution form. Corpo Slayer. Yeah, they're definitely, definitely work-related here. Hello. Do you know this person? Somewhere around Watanabe Center. Yeah, okay. We'll go and talk to some people in here. You. Hi. You know. This person. Bishop Grove. Do they live at Bishop Grove? Let's ask one more person and see what they say. They probably live at Bishop Grove, which is weird because fucking I live at Bishop Grove and suddenly everybody killing each other around Bishop Grove. Where does our person work? Replace... No, this person. Ginger Company. I need, um... This lab management ginger. What time is it? 8.58. Okay, so it's not quite workplace time. Let's go to Bishop... Grove. Let's see what we can find for Bishop Grove. See if maybe they live there, because they probably do. Come on, I am so fucking hungry. Uh, probably just gonna make me like a turkey sandwich in a minute. I really feel like cooking. I ain't got money to order food, so. Okay, Bishop Grove, and also text messaging. What? Okay, Bishop Grove. I didn't realize they were right next door to Watanabe, Watanabe Center, which doesn't bode well. Means that they might not live here. Probably just, um. Just that they were walking. So, somewhere on Bishop Grove. Okay, well. Hello. The 
fuck is your problem? Hello. People. Humans. Do you know that person? That's Jing Fu. They work at Ginger Company. Good. Good. Saw them today at Gallagher Parade around 6.30 in the morning. Jing Fu. Thank you. Now I can go get Jing Fu's information, probably arrest them, and that'll probably be it for today. I also need uh, handcuffs. Let's go up and look up Jing Fu. Jing Fu, print, LT, pretty sure fingerprint LT, yeah, cool, well, you're guilty, cool, where do they live, 702 Bishop Grove, cool, All right. Are they at work right now, though, is the question. Maybe. 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 I guess they're right next door, so we'll find out. Let's go to their home first. And then we'll go for Ginger Company and see if they're there. Hang on, you're not, you're not Jing Fu. Never mind. You don't have glasses on. You're not Jing Fu. You're not Jing Fu. Gotta check everybody walking down the steps, right? Because it could be Jing Fu headed to work. You're not Jing Fu either. Neither are you. Five. Six. Seven. 702. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. You're not Jing Fu. That's my partner, Jing Fu. Loves sports. They live with me. They're here right now. Cool. Wife gave them up. You know how often that fucking happens? Where are you, Jing Fu? I want to put you in prison. Hi, Jing Fu. Um, Jing Fu, where's your gun? Here. Don't fucking punch me. Okay, for God's sake. Search. Pistol ammunition. Alright. Well. About to be a security threat in this building in a minute. I love how the milk splattered all over the place. Get out before they wake up, because security threat is about to happen in my own goddamn building again. It always happens in my own fucking building. Okay. Resolve. Full name of the killer. You. Arrested. I have evidence that. Where does the killer live? Oh, hang on. Um, there, uh, there. I don't have the murder weapon that 
It's okay, because I'm just interested in the social credit, because that'll bring me to the 8 with the star. I don't know what that means. I've never done that much in a save file before. I wonder if that means I can go and live, like, and retire. I don't know if I have the money to retire, but you know what? Plus, the living isn't actually all that expensive in this game. So, uh, I might just, um... Might just retire on my 2100, 21,000 bucks, honestly. Work part-time at Walmart, it might be alright. You know? 250 social cred, does that make me... Hey! Brings me to 8 social cred. What does the 8 with the star mean? I don't know what the 8 with the star means. No? Does anybody know what the 8 with the star means? No? Okay. Just, just curious, you know. Alright. Let's get us a burger. And then that'll be it for the stream today. Um, Kiki, you outright missed a lot of, um, a lot of hatred today. You got here after my initial problems. I tried to stream earlier. My internet just was not having it. I had a power outage. Man, there was a lot of issues going on behind the scenes. And, um, it just did not work out. So... Anyway, uh, we'll we'll stay in here. Actually, God, this place is a fucking dump. Uh, take the newspaper. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um. Well, guys, I think that'll be it. We're gonna go ahead and save. And we're going to quit. Kiki, thank you so much for being here. Revan Master, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, both of you, I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, just for you, Kiki. One last shot of the printer there. It is warbling a little bit because the, the camera's a little unstable where it's sitting. But anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. Oh, I should probably... There we go. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, sorry it took a while to get the stream up and running today. But I'm glad we got to stream. Um, uh, I've been really having fun with uh, Shadows of Doubt. I don't know if I'll have time to stream it tomorrow because of work. I work tonight, overnight. Um, but Monday for sure, I'm going to try to stream for the new update. We'll do a new save so that we can generate a new town with a hotel. Should be pretty fun. I'm probably just going to do a medium size because the, the large seems to lag my computer a little bit. Um... Remember, guys, I'm doing uh, Extra Life Charity uh, November 4th, probably. Um, so stay tuned for info on that. Join the Discord if you haven't already uh, for more weekend vibes. Discord link down below. Website linked down below, or you can do it in chat. Um, check out my printables designs, Kiki. Um, other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Next weekend. Bye. Bye, Kiki. Bye, Revan. Bye, everyone else. Bye, anyone watching this in the future on YouTube. Bye. Bye, I love you.